Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to stop Microsoft installing drivers of its own accord for your graphics devices, or for any other devices for that matter. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, in today's video, we're going to show you how to disable Microsoft's ability to automatically update your drivers for certain devices. Now, this is mostly problematic for those of you that are using either AMD or NVIDIA graphics cards. So maybe you're using an RTX card or maybe you're using the integrated graphics or maybe your uh, Ryzen APUs. This will help you greatly. So if you're trying to troubleshoot problems and you're having issues with drivers or you've had to use the uh, driver uninstaller to then correct your drivers, you quite often find as long as you're connected to the internet, then Microsoft will automatically try and download these drivers in the background and actually make your problems even worse by not allowing you to carry out what you're trying to do. So what we need to do is there's either two things you can do, one of which is you can just disconnect from the internet. So this is great if you've got another PC which you can download the drivers from, put them on the USB stick and transfer them across. That is actually probably the ideal situation. But if you're working on a single machine or you're maybe working at a customer's house and, and the Windows drivers keeps on installing in the background whilst you're trying to do your work, it can be super, super frustrating. Now there are a couple of issues with actually with the Ryzen APUs, whereas you'll get like a, a dual screen or a dual split screen type effect, or maybe even the black screen of death. Now this can be really problematic and obviously you can't see what you're doing on the computer whilst trying to download new drivers while that is happening. So this is how to prevent Microsoft downloading that driver. So we're going to go over to the PC now and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So on your Windows desktop, all you need to do is in the search bar, which you should be able to see because the split screen effect normally leaves the far left OK and it duplicates that into the middle of the screen. So this should be absolutely fine. So all you need to do is type in control for control panel and open the control panel desktop app. Now this is the older version of the control panel, which differs slightly from the newer Windows 10 version. This is more familiar to those of you that may be coming from Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what you need to do, you would think it would be in hardware and sound, but it isn't. So you need to go into system and security. So in system and security, you can then go down to system. And in system, it gives you a layout of all your options here. But the one that we're actually after is the advanced system settings. So in the advanced system settings, you've got various system properties, computer name, hardware, system protection, etc. But actually the one we want is hardware. So click on the hardware tab at the top. And this gives you two options. So you can either launch device manager, which is handy actually if you're trying to remove drivers or remove a device. But this is the one we want, device installation settings. So this gives you the option to choose whether Windows downloads, manufactures, apps and custom icons that are available for your devices. Now this actually includes drivers as well as apps. It's not entirely clear there, but it will actually prevent Microsoft from downloading drivers in the background. So click on device installation settings and we get two options. So it's a 50-50, you can't go too far wrong here. So you'll probably find that your system is already set to yes, the recommended setting. So what we want to do is just click on no. So this gives you the warning, your device may not work as expected. But this is absolutely okay because we want to manually install our drivers. So all you need to do then is click on save changes and you're done. So at this point now you can reboot your computer and carry on installing and everything should be absolutely fine. Now, I would suggest after you've remedied your problem, it may well be worth going back in into your device installation settings and setting it back to a recommended once things have settled down. You can always change this very quickly should you need to in the future. So there we go. There is a nice, quick and easy, simple way of disabling Microsoft from downloading its own custom drivers to your computer, allowing you to install the manufacturer's recommended drivers for things such as your NVIDIA graphics card or your AMD Ryzen or your AMD Radeon graphics card drivers, or for that matter, any other drivers that you may be struggling with, maybe a video captured card, that kind of thing. So if, if this video was helpful, give it a like, 
Don't forget to use the comments section below if you've got any comments or questions you may have. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.